Hey guys, welcome back to Cooking at Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and today we're making a leftover meal. We're going to make turkey pot pie. Oh my goodness, it's easy, simple, quick. You're using leftover, guys, so you don't have a lot of work to do. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you'll always get my recipes every time I upload them. And then just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes. That'll get you there. Let's get busy. Okay guys, we are back. We are getting ready to go over the ingredients and I will have all the ingredients, exact measurements, and the actual recipe down in the description just for you guys so you can refer back to it. Okay, we've got the star of the ditch. Now today, our pot pie, we're making with puff pastry. Oh my goodness, it is flaky. Oh, flaky, fluffy, and delicious. We are using puff pastry for our uh, actual dough. You're going to need some casserole dishes. Now I am making two individual smaller pot pies today. You can use a pie plate or any casserole dish. The instruction directions are going to be the same. In it, of course, we have our turkey, peas, celery, carrots, and onions. We're also using some thyme, Himalayan salt, black pepper. We'll need some butter and some chicken broth. Now this is actually leftover turkey broth that I had for my Thanksgiving Day meal. You can use chicken broth, beef broth. You can use any broth you want. If you don't have any broth, you can also use water. You can also substitute the turkey for chicken for a regular chicken pot pie. And as a matter of fact, you can do this recipe with beef or anything that you would like to have in your pot pie. Okay guys, let's get this puff pastry pot pie made. Okay, we've got a couple of other things we're going to be using, like an egg wash and some flour, but we'll get to those as we go along. So we're going to take our puff pastry. Again, this is what I am using. You can use any puff pastry that you have in your local grocery. You need to prepare it first, though. So I'm going to take this and open it up. And we need a little flour on our countertop. Wrap it, flour on that side, we'll flour on this side. Okay, and I'm just gonna roll it just gently just to get some of the creases out of it. Not much at all. Now, using whatever casserole dish you're using, if it's a round one or a big pie plate, you wanna take it, put it on the dough, and we're gonna cut around it just about a half an inch or so, just about a half an inch or so around the whole thing. And you'll see why as we go along. And I'm using a pizza cutter to do this with. So I'm just gonna cut this, just eyeball it as evenly down the middle as I can. Then cut off some of this edge because you kind of want it to be going in the same shape as your dish. And because this is the shape of my dish, like this, that's the shape of my puff pastry. Okay, I'm gonna brush the excess flour off. We're gonna lay it on some parchment paper, put it in the refrigerator until we're ready for it. Now we're gonna take a half a stick of butter and we're gonna go ahead and melt it so that we can cook our veggies some. Okay, we're adding in our carrots, celery. Let those cook until they are pretty much fork tender. You want your veggies to have a bite when they're in a dish, so don't cook them until they're mush because we have to put it in the oven and it's gonna cook in there as well. At this point, you should be heating up your oven to 425 degrees. Okay, now we're going in with our onion. Just until they're translucent, not long at all. I'm gonna go in with a little flour. After you've cooked your flour for a few minutes to get that flour taste out of it, about three or four minutes, go in with your chicken broth or turkey broth. I'm gonna 
stir this and let it thicken up some. This is your gravy for your pot pie. Okay, now you can see it's bubbling up and it has also thickened up. At this point, we're gonna go in with a big scoop of leftover mashed potatoes. Now, if you don't have any leftover mashed potatoes, you can simply cut up a potato. But by them being mashed, this is going to add an amazing flavor as well as even thicken this up for a nice, rich gravy. It's going to be amazing. So it's, they're already cooked, so you just wanna make sure that they blend in well, nice and smooth and creamy. At this point, turn your skillet pot down on low and just let these mashed potatoes disintegrate into the gravy, guys, yeah. This is going to be the best, the absolute best turkey pot pie ever. Oh my goodness, I should be seeing turkey pot pie with puff pastry because that's what we're using today. Yes. Now we're going to add in our turkey. You hear that beep? That means our oven is ready. Add in your turkey. And now you're gonna go in with a little thyme. Little black pepper. Add a little Himalayan salt. Just a little bit because everything is pretty much already seasoned. But at this point, once you blend these seasonings in, you wanna go ahead and give it a nice taste to make sure it has all the flavoring and seasoning that you would like to have in yours. Oh my goodness, this smells delicious. Mm, mm, mm. And see how quick and easy that was? Okay, let me go in for a taste right quick. Just wanna taste the broth pretty much. Mm, mm, mm. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I almost cannot wait for this to cook. I could just eat it like this. Simply amazing. Now we're gonna go in with our peas. They are always last because they cook fast and we want them to have a bite. Ooh, look at this guys, doesn't this look amazing? Mm, mm, mm. We're gonna get our dishes and we will be right back so we can get this all put into the oven. Okay, make sure you always sit your casserole dish, dishes or dish on something else, some kind of tray, cookie sheet or something so that if it runs over, it won't tear up your oven and make it worse. So when you're using puff pastry, this is egg wash and I'll have that, uh, the ingredients for the egg wash down in the description too, but it's basically just an egg and water. You wanna take this and you wanna brush the outside and the top rim of your baking dish. Now this is not necessarily necessary if you are using regular pie dough, but because we're using puff pastry, we need to do this extra step. And you'll see why when we put the top on. Okay, now we are going to fill these up. Don't overfill your dishes either. You want them about three fourths of the way filled. And if you spill any like I did, make sure you get it up before you put this in the oven. Otherwise, it will burn. Okay, we are ready to put our puff pastry right on top. So you just want to take it, lay it on top, and press it down onto your container. That's why you needed the egg wash on there. Press it down, yes, over the handles. Now, if you don't want the handles covered, just for presentation's sake, you can take that off. Or we'll take that off from around the handles. Make sure it's tucked really well because this is what you're doing to seal it in. This is what you're doing to seal it in. Once you have it sealed in, you just want to make two or three slits on the top. Make one. So that steam can escape. Okay, I'm gonna prepare the other one and I'll be back. Okay, now we wanna brush the top with the same egg wash. 
Then we're going to bake it 425 degrees until it's nice and puffed up and golden brown. Oh my goodness, look at that guys. Doesn't that look amazing? They look absolutely delicious. So if you've made it this far in the video, please share it out. Tell everybody you know that cooking at Pam's Place is over here making up easy, simple, made from scratch meals that we can all make at home. I'm gonna bring you guys in just a little bit closer so I can dip down in one and show you the inside. Okay guys, we are all done. I just want to give you guys a close up and I am going to dip into one of them. I have not let them cool as much as I probably should have, but that's okay. Just want you guys to see what's going on. Listen, listen. Nice and crispy. Thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out with me today in my kitchen. Oh my goodness. Mm -mm -mm. Crispy deliciousness. Oh my goodness. Ooh, it is just delicious. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. Mm, mm, mm. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.